morning, J.B. Babbitt. How are you? I'm very good. Um, we're so excited that you're back here at Fairlane 37 with your latest film, Breaking the Girls, and completely honored to be um, honoring you this year as our Frameline Award honoree. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, I'm wondering, you know, you do so much work in television, and your iconic first feature, um, Bottom of a Trailer, has been such an inspiration to everyone. Uh, tell us, like, what what's the difference between doing independent film and television? How do you how do you manage both? Because it seems like you're able to to have your foot and your work in both of these spheres, and it's, not everyone can do that. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's very similar skills, it's just that it's, I really like directing, so whether it's like long form features or whether it's um, hour television, whether it's half hour television, whether it's commercials, um, I just really enjoy my job and um, I think I, the same skills basically apply, it's like storytelling, working with actors, working with the camera, um, and it's like ultimately my pleasure to make independent films because you get to really explore and tell the stories that you're really interested in and TV is a whole nother enjoyment which is being able to work with really high caliber actors that you wouldn't otherwise have contact with and getting to work with material that's really special that it's just great to collaborate with people like Lena Dunham on mm -hmm. Girls or um, Tony Collette on the United States of Terra or Alison Janney on or sunshine like along the way I've gotten all these great opportunities and I think it's just comes down to directing in the end it's just pretty much directing <laughs> so um, I'm curious what filmmakers have inspired you in your career who do you who do you really draw inspiration from or what what types of music artists what what inspires you on a day-to-day -day basis in your work um, I always have been a huge fan of Jane Campion and I loved all her short films when I was like in my 20s I was really obsessed with her short films and I love Sweetie and um, Top of the Lake is the best television that I've seen in the last couple of years um, so she's a really big inspiration to me um, I also love um, there's like specific movies that I love like um, I loved Edward Scissorhands and I loved um, uh, to Die For, Gus Van Sant's movie, and um, I'm really inspired by Riot Girl music, and I'm really inspired by um, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, um, and I'm really inspired by Lisa Dunham, and I'm really inspired by Nicole Eisenman, the artist, and I just am inspired by funny, powerful women that are expressing themselves in really unique, irreverent ways. And I'd love to be in that group. <laughs> Hopefully, I am. I you definitely know. are. I think. I think um, one of the things that when when I sit and think about your work, there's just this. There's just a reference. There's always a strong female character, um, often a queer woman or someone with an ambiguous sexuality that is so completely committed to being herself and you know not really caring what other people think. And it's it's very it's a very punk rock. Um, feminist aesthetic and you are just such an inspiration to so many filmmakers and artists. Um, I'm also wondering, you know, you have a new film coming out, Breaking the Girls. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that, how you came to that project. I know Gwen Turner um, co-wrote it. Um, I know you guys have had lots of work at Frameline over the years. So, so tell us a little bit about the genesis of that project. Um, I was actually at the Toronto Film Festival uh, a bunch of years ago and I was approached by the producer, Kirk D'Amico, and he was like, oh, I have this project that Guinevere Turner was a writer on called Breaking the Girls. And um, I've always been a fan of Basic Instinct and those kind of B-movies. And he was like, you know, it's sort of like a female version of Strangers on the Train um, with some like fun B-movie elements. And I read the script and I just thought it would be so much fun to direct one of those movies. <laughs> and uh, I really like the idea that it was about these three women and just kind of a, this ensemble of twists and turns and crazy, once again, ambiguous sexuality. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just a fun ride. And um, so I was super excited. And I got involved probably like five years ago. And Gwen and I just worked on the script and um, started casting and made it last year. Um, and a bunch of amazing actors just came in and auditioned. And um, we made it in LA for 50 cents. And <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm curious, you know, you, you've had your work screen at Frameline so many times. 
What What is your favorite thing about Screen Act Online? What makes this festival special for you? Um, definitely the theater is the number one draw. It's basically like the most amazing theater in the country. And it's like a church. It's just so beautiful. And your audiences are so excited about movies. And they're always well attended. And it's just like an enthusiasm for movies and for queer subject matter. And I think it's always my favorite place to screen any movie I've ever made, including all my shorts. So I, when I when I make a movie, and I'm not kidding, in pre-production, I'm always thinking about what it's going to be like when I screen here. And what, what does that mean? What's it, what's it like? Like, do you, do you think about the frame light audience when you cut it, or just more of like what the response is going to be like? Tell us a little more I about just that. think about like the excitement that I have about sharing it with a big audience in one of the most beautiful theaters I can think of, and a queer audience that will enjoy all the queerness of it. Um, I wouldn't say I really cut it for the audience, because ultimately I end up cutting it for myself. Because in the end, I'm the one who has to watch it the most amount of times. <laughs> but I do get excited about sharing it with this audience. Cool. Well, thank you, Jamie, for joining us again at Frameline 37. And again, your body of work is so prolific and inspiring and sexy and funny and irreverent. And we cannot wait to see what you bring us next. Yay! Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>